Right, this is a Rotel amplifier. It's a budget amplifier, but it's a very good one, in fact. There was a craze going around a while ago. Pioneer A400s were getting modified by Tom Evans. He did a couple of little mods under the board. But there's a whole lot more you can do with these Rotels. Now, this is what, I, what I'd suggest. Get more accurate potentiometers here. Replace this capacitor there. Oh, you're a buzzing. Hit it. That's a signal capacitor. See that one, does it? Hear it? Not as loud on that side. Well, that's where the signal goes through. Now, that shouldn't be doing that. And this is the phono stage, because I'm running a record player right now. That can be vastly improved. That's its power supply there. I would fit a small toroidal transformer and just to run that and also this chip here. Oh, I can see it. Where is it? Where is it? Ah, oh, there we go. This is the the preamp line stage. And remember that capacitor I touched that was making a noise? Hear it? Is it? Now that's the signal capacitor. I shouldn't be doing that. Pretty noisy. But I'll be replacing them with high quality polypropylene capacitors. Once you replace these, you're going to have to adjust the bias. And also, the DC offset voltage has to be really low. So, there we go. Oh, forgot about it. It's the power supply. This is a bridge rectifier right here. We're replacing that with ultra fast 6 amp. Oh, beautiful when you replace them. And there we go. You'll end up with a high end amplifier on a tight budget. This is a Riga Planner 2. Sounds brilliant. For all those who want the, the phono stages modified to have a really good phono stage, it's very important, mind, because in a CD player it has an analog output stage. Oh, the baby's crying, so I'm going to have to go. I'll see you when I get my glasses. And remember, nobody understands Chinese writing. Only the Chinese. I'll see you then.